Hello, welcome to this breakout session on AI for energy and climate security. My name is Henrik Svanberg and I will be chairing this session. Uh, it will also feature my uh, colleagues, Wei Yu, Huan Wei Xu, Lars Nordstrom and Zara Kalantari. And we are all active at Stockholm University or at KTH. Uh, I will first provide you a little bit of background for this session. Uh, it's all about research that is happening under the umbrella of the C3 AI Digital Transformation Institute. So this is a research consortium that is dedicated to accelerating the benefits of artificial intelligence for business, government and society. And the uh, consortium engages these institutions that you can see here listed on the slide. So it's leading universities in the US and KTH and Digital Futures at in Sweden, as well as companies such as Microsoft and C3DTI. Um, C3DTI DTI had their second call for research proposals in the spring, and the theme was digital transformation and AI for energy and climate security. And that is also the reason for the title of the, this uh, breakout session. The theme of the, <clears throat> the call was artificial intelligence techniques and digital transformation to advance energy efficiency, lower carbon, higher efficiency economy that will ensure energy and climate security. In total, 21 projects were awarded in $4.4 million over one year. And gladly enough, five of those projects were hosted by Digital Futures here in Stockholm. And you can follow this link here to read more in detail about the projects. But already here and now you will hear a little bit about each of these five projects from the uh, involved researchers and the leading researchers here in Stockholm. Uh, you see a list of them here. Uh, first we'll have Wei Lu, then Quan Wei Xu, then Lars Nordstrom, then Zara Kalantari, and then finally myself, Henry Sandberg. And you will hear about four to five minutes about each project and we're all available here in this chat so please ask your questions if you have any during the talks and we will also be around for the remaining time in the q a session at the very end of this breakout session but for now i would like to leave the word to Wei Yu, uh, and i hope you enjoy these uh, short introductory talks thank you the title of our project is AI-Based Prediction of Urban Climate and uh, its Impact on Built Environments. This project is leading by Dr. Wei Liu from the Division of Sustainable Buildings at KTH. Uh, the urban climate determines the environmental quality in urban areas by removing or dispersing the airborne pollutants generated by human activities through providing clean external air or rural air. Uh, the study of urban climate and its impact on the building environments would help provide guidelines and tools for urban planners and building engineers to evaluate the environmental quality in our living space. So given the practical difficulties of performing city scale or multi-scale experiments, accurate simulation and false decision supporting tools are urgently in need to provide pollutant mitigation strategies for researchers, other planners, experimental engineers, and the decision makers. The existing development of such tools have been plagued many three challenges, the computational speed, the accuracy, and the, the robustness. So the overall goals of this project is to provide accurate understanding of pollutant spreading patterns and the also the source identification and its impact or interaction with the civil infrastructures and also the occupants have to live in under extreme climates. We will develop accurate prediction and the four decision supporting tools to start urban climate and its impact on building environments. As to the technical approach, this project plans to develop the AI, the artificial intelligence space, CFS safety simulations, the safety is computational fluid dynamics. We develop these tools to realize the accurate and false prediction of urban climate and built environments. And this study will focus on the two aspects in developing this AI-based models, the AI-based turbulence model by learning the behavior of turbulence and the AI-based surrogate model by the convolutional neural network. And in order to train and test the 
artificial neural network of the ANN model. This project will collect experimental data for of both the indoor and outdoor airflow from on-site or lab measurements. The expected outcomes of this project include a database of experimental data on both the indoor and outdoor airflow, and we will develop two AI-based turbulence models for the urban climate and another two for the built environment. And we will publish two journal papers with open access and the two conference papers. And also we will establish a website with data, figures, and and animations to disseminate the project results. Uh, there are many three participants in this project. Myself, William, I'm an assistant professor at the Division of Sustainable Buildings at KTH. And we also have the Professor Lee Klaus Lavasen, who is the co-investigator. He is from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from BTH. His research mainly focuses on machine learning. And we have the PhD student, Giovanni Casanari, and uh, who will mainly work on this project. Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to present this project, Data-Driven Control and the Coordination of Smart Converters for Sustainable Power System Using Deep Reinforcement Learning. I'm Qian Wen Xu assistant professor from KTH and uh, the project leader for this project. This project is an interdisciplinary collaboration among KTH, Stockholm University, and UC Berkeley. This project deals with the grid transition issue. Moving towards the climate neutral society, electric power systems are going through a paradigm shift with the wide integration of the distributed energy resources, such as solar PV, wind power, energy storage, and electric vehicles. However, today's grid cannot handle the voltage rise and the fast voltage fluctuations from the high penetration of renewables, which will cause a violation of grid security. Power converters of the distributed energy resources have full controllability that is promising to be utilized to address this challenge. However, it is widely recognized that the lack of adequate control mechanism is a key obstacle. Current model-based control methods are not able to handle the high volatility and uncertainty of distribution grids. Moreover, optimal coordination of a large number of distributed energy resources requires high communication burden. Our belief is that AI and machine learning will play a key role in improving control strategies for converters by making them more adaptive and intelligent to stabilize the complex and changing power grids. Therefore, the goal of this project is to enable smooth integration of renewables into grids by addressing the above challenges and to advance the systematic design of data-driven control using deep reinforcement learning, as well as develop a communication efficient solution for real-world implementation. To achieve this, we will first develop an advanced digital platform of power grid incorporating power converter dynamics. Based on this digital platform, we will leverage deep reinforcement learning to train the data-driven control policy that is able to adapt to the faster changing environment with the guaranteed stability. Next, a communication efficient deep reinforcement learning algorithm will be developed for effective coordination of a large number of converters. Finally, we will implement deep reinforcement learning algorithm on the physical hardware platform. So far, we have developed a digital platform as well as a deep reinforcement learning algorithm. And by the end of this project, we will deliver an environmental adaptive 
stability guarantee and communication efficient control policy for smart converters to provide voltage support for the sustainable power system, as well as an open source software package to implement the algorithm and to be demonstrated in the microgrid hardware platform. This project will provide a cost-effective and flexible solution for renewable integration to minimize grid stability impact and uh, promote the 100% renewable target in the future. Thank you very much for your listening. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Lars Nordström. I'm a professor here at KTH and I will be telling you a bit about this exciting project uh, called Machine Learning for Power Electronics Enabled Power Systems, a unified machine learning platform for power electronics, power systems and data science. The project is a team effort and the PI of the project is Minji Chen, at Princeton University. With him at Princeton there is Pratik Mittal and Vincent Poor. The team here at the KTH end is myself, Lars Nordström, and Professor Sean Fei Wang. So what's the product all about? I'll start at the industrial or societal challenges that we're trying to address. As we all know, the power system is migrating from a traditional fossil fuel-based system into a renewable systems with PV and uh, wind power. And one thing which is not apparent is that this interface from the power sources in this new type of power system, the wind of the PV, into the system is based on power electronics. And that's what we had in the title, power electronics enabled power systems. That's all fine. Uh, what we're doing is basically replacing the interface from traditional generation stations who are feeding the AC grid directly with a AC-DC interface, which is connecting the renewable sources into the AC grid. Technology well established and well known. What we're really experiencing right now is an enormous growth of renewables, PV and wind, which means that we're interfacing not just one of these devices, but several hundreds and thousands, which are then replacing the old traditional generation stations. This means that there is a fundamental physical change on how the power system behaves, since power electronics behaves quite differently than traditional uh, generation sources, specifically when it comes to uh, the time scale of the involved systems. So what we want to address in this project is to develop a hierarchical machine learning framework to model this future grid, which will be supported by a large amount of renewable energy. And we want to combine the modeling tools which are necessary for power electronics in that time scale with that for power systems. And we think that data science and the tools that we're getting from the C3 AI Institute is what we can use to do this. The work will then develop uh, data-driven methods for modeling and control of this future grid. And of course, overall collectively create more understanding of this new type of grid. Uh, the technical approach that we're taking is to start bottoms up. <clears throat> we will be creating models of individual inverters, physical models of course, but trying then to uh, convert them into data-driven models and then aggregating that into groups of inverters using uh, federated machine learning in order to combine individual models of individual converters into larger groups. And finally, integrating these aggregated or federated models of individual converters into our power system simulations. So we will be combining circuit simulations, system simulations, and combining the data sources uh, using the uh, machine learning enabled platform. The expected outcomes is open source uh, uh, database that we can use for these uh, inverter physical behaviors, a compatible neural network, C3AI compatible neural network that we can use uh, surrogate models for the grid interfacing inverters. And overall, we're delivering a data-driven modeling approach uh, that we can use to model the future grid. And of course, uh, a community of experts uh, that, we can, that we can support. All of it to be developed open source uh, based 
uh, from this bottoms up approach. So thanks very much for listening. Again, this is a team effort. Uh, we're at KTH and together with the colleagues at Princeton uh, University, very much looking forward to doing all of this together. Hi, uh, my name is Zara Kalantari and I am Associate Professor and the Project Leader from KTH Royal, Insto uh, Royal Institute of Technology for this project entitled Optimization of Agricultural Management for Soil Carbon Sequestration using deep reinforcement learning and large scale simulations. This is a project in collaboration between KTH, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in US and Stockholm University. As we know, global climate change is one of the biggest challenges facing humanity and soil carbon sequestration in croplands has tremendous potential to help mitigate climate change. However, it is challenging to develop the optimal management practices for maximizing the sequestrated uh, carbon as well as the crop yield. So this project aims to enhance soil carbon sequestration in croplands to maximize crop yield and help mitigate climate change impact. So in this project, we want to develop an intelligent agricultural management system using deep reinforcement learning and large scale soil and carbon and crop simulations to be able to support policy by improving uh, sequential decision-making regarding best agricultural management practices. And this research has a great potential for impact on climate, and climate change and food security, two of the most significant challenges that actually um, humanity is facing now. So to achieve um, this project goal, we will build a simulator to model and simulate the complex soil, water, plant, atmosphere interaction under various scenarios. For example, weather, crop status, soil condition, which will run on high performance computing platforms. We also want to produce an intelligent agricultural management system that will automatically determine the management practices in terms of the fertilization, irrigation, and to optimize both, carbon, both soil carbon sequestration and crop yield. So uh, by using massive simulations, such as a high performance computing platform, this will allow us to do the evaluation of the effect of various management practices under different weather and soil conditions in a timely and cost-effective manner. This project would include uh, three tasks. So the task one would be to develop and run a soil water plant atmosphere dynamic uh, simulator on high performance computing platform by using agricultural production system simulator, which is called AppSim. The second task is about formulating a mark of decision process, MDP, uh, for agricultural uh, management. And the third task is about training and management policy using deep uh, reinforcement learning. So by formulating the management decision as a deep um, reinforcement learning problem, we can leverage the state-of-the-art algorithms to train management policy through extensive interaction with uh, the simulated environment. And um, so the trained policy are expected to maximize the stored uh, organic carbon while maximizing the crop yield in the presence of the uncertain weather condition. And the whole system will be tested using data of um, um, soils and crops in both middle west and west of United States and the central part of Mediterranean region. 
So thank you so much for listening. Here are the picture of the, our team from uh, different uh, universities, uh, from KTH, from University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and Stockholm University. Hello, my name is Henrik Sandberg, and I'm here to present the project Learning in Routing Games for Sustainable Electromobility, or ROSE for short. Uh, this project is a collaboration between MIT and KTH, and we have Professor Sara Wumin uh, from MIT, Professor George Dan from KTH, and Professor Yoso Guidofalvi from KTH, all involved in the project. Uh, we have expertise in wide area selection of areas such as decision and control systems, civil and environmental engineering, network systems engineering, and geoinformatics. First of all, uh, I'd like to say something about sustainable electromobility and what we mean by that in this project. In particular, we're going to focus on uh, electrical delivery vehicles and electrical transportation of goods uh, by heavy duty trucks, electrical or hybrid. Uh, we're also going to be interested in the infrastructure that supports their operation. So by that, of course, we mean the roads and the charging infrastructure available. But very important is also the uh, IT infrastructure that provides data to the drivers and the vehicles, as well as to the owners of the uh, commercial operators, uh, so how they can plan the uh, delivery of the goods. Uh, the challenge we're facing here is that the transportation of goods is a major contributor to the greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, it's estimated to be about 24% of all uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So if we would like to meet our very highly set goals on, uh, on uh, preventing the climate change, uh, we need to address this, this sector. The opportunity here is, of course, that... Uh, we can see the possibility to electrify a lot of the road transport, um, so, um, which is something we would like to exploit. Uh, but this zero emission mobility will require a new type of sustainable oriented approach to do the planning for how to deliver the goods from point A to B, etc. That is what this project is all about. To and in fact, the goal of this particular project is to develop traffic routing mechanisms or algorithms for commercial operators. So help them to be more sustainable when they would like to move uh, goods from, from one point to another in a certain amount of time. How should they balance all of the uh, involved costs and constraints uh, that comes from the electromobility itself, but also other factors that can be of interest such as the congestion, for instance. Uh, the expected outcomes of the project are as follows. First, we will develop algorithms for the routing itself. So if we'd like to go move goods from one point on the map to another, which road segments should we use depending on the availability of green power on different uh, sectors in, in, in the map uh, to avoid congestion and make sure that we are there on time and to minimize the costs, of course, involved in the shipment. Uh, we would like to exploit all the available data that can be used, both from the vehicles, but also from the infrastructure, traffic counts, from the charging infrastructure, from the weather services, etc. And finally, we would like to develop learning strategies exploiting this data to make sure that the vehicles we explore as much as possible of the infrastructure to learn as much about it as possible to get very accurate predictions for what the costs are going to be when we do the deliveries. The technical approach is threefold. We will start with simulations to estimate costs uh, and also how much energy is going to be used in the delivery of the goods. We will use the optimization to find the optimal traffic routes, to find the trade-offs between the involved uh, factors um, and finally, we will use game theory and learning them to model the interaction between the competing uh, commercial actors. So they're uh, competing for the same resources. So how do we model this interaction and competition? At the same time, we would like to develop uh, interaction schemes that ensures that we drive 
the, their behavior towards the social optimum that we all would like to experience. Uh, and by that, I'd like to thank you for your attention. Here you see pictures of all the four uh, PIs involved in this project. Uh, and by that, I would also like to close this breakout session on AI for energy and climate security. You have now heard five short presentations uh, that all uh, got their uh, applications awarded in the C3 AI DTI call uh, earlier this spring. And uh, these projects will all be active for the coming year. And uh, all the speakers are now available in the chat. So if you have any questions, I invite you to, to uh, address one of us, the speakers. So thank you again for listening. <laughs>